Hey, Kat. There's something I need to clear the air about today. Seems in the past I've made a couple of videos concerning what I call yuppie bikers. Uh, and a lot of bikers have taken offense to that. Uh, for some reason, is they've watched my videos and they consider themselves yuppies and uh, they get very angry over that. So I just wanted to clear this up and, and uh, make myself uh, understood as to exactly what the terms are here. First of all, none of this is to be taken seriously. It's all done in jest. You know, it's just poking fun. We all need to ride together on this. Whether you're a new rider, you only been riding for one day, or whether you've been riding for your whole life, I'll ride with all of you. You know, if you're a new rider, maybe I can teach you a few tricks. If you're an old rider, maybe you can teach me something I don't already know. I sure would appreciate it. As far as I'm concerned, a biker is a biker. You know, I started out one day where I didn't know anything about riding, and I learned. But I'm glad to ride with anybody who likes to keep it in the wind and on two wheels. It's a lot of fun, and there's a lot of experiences to be had. Okay, now, how did I come up with this yuppie biker term? Back in early 2000, uh, some cats and I had rode out to Sturgis, South Dakota. About 1,400 miles, something like that. Well, my butt was stuck to this saddle, my hands on these handlebars. And I did the time, and I put in the miles, uh, adverse weather conditions, uh, the highway, the dangers, and the experiences, the pleasures of it all. I made it out there more than once, and there's something about doing that that a man takes a great pride in. So when you get out there, you feel like, that's right, I rode. I did it. I faced the challenge, and I met it. But when we were out there, we looked around and we noticed something very odd. That there's this whole new breed of bikers that were coming in in these big, ex expansive motorhomes with these great big huge trailers and they'd open the doors and they'd wheel out their brand new bikes and they'd put on their brand new leather and they'd get on their bikes and ride into Sturgis like, like they were hardcore bikers. So we made fun of them and we called them yuppie bikers. We made fun of them to their face. Some of them were frightened of us, and some of it just laughed. Some of them just laughed and thought it was pretty funny. So that's kind of where it all started from. But really, uh, to define a yuppie biker, uh, if you were to look in a dictionary, I would say uh, this is by my own description, of course. There's no real such thing. So I, I just kind of have elaborated on this on my own. But I call yuppie bikers these people that are like in their 40s or on up uh, that have lots of money. They go out and they buy a brand new motorcycle and they buy all the brand new clothes and they want to emulate or they want to try to be like uh, some of us bikers have been on the road for a long, long time. Now, I don't have a hatred towards them. I don't have anything against them. I'll, all for them riding and everything. I'm just poking fun at them. I'm just poking fun at them. Uh, I'm, I'm honored that they want to try to be like me. You know, I wear these leathers because it protects me. It protects me against the wind, the rain, the road, the rocks, the, the bees, the bugs. I wear the glasses because it protects my eyes and it keeps the wind out of my eyes. The hat keeps the sun off on my face. The patches and the badges that I have on my jacket and my vest, I've earned. I, I've, I've been there, done that. And I'm proud to show that I rode my bike to Sturgis. So I put a patch on my jacket. You know, I didn't just go down to the drugstore and buy a Harley Eagle and sew it on my brand new leather. Um, if you want to do that, that's fine. But that's what it's all about. No offense, it's all poking fun at you. If you're a yuppie biker, hey, whatever. Maybe someday you'll be a hardcore biker. You know, put some miles on, uh, take a challenge, ride your bike cross country, get some experiences, uh, go to the rallies, join some clubs, you know, do the time. 
and learn what it's all about because there's a lot, a lot of experiences out there on a motorcycle. Hey, till later, ride hard and die free.